In the next set of videos, we will look at intent. Now, three of the core components of an application, which is activity, services, and broadcast receivers, are activated through messages called intents. The intent itself, an intent object, is a passive data structure holding an abstract description of an operation to be performed, or, often in the case of broadcasts, a description of something that has happened and is being announced. The Android system finds the appropriate activity, the service, or the set of broadcast receivers to respond to the intent, instantiating them if necessary. Now, an intent object is just a bundle of information. It contains information of interest to the component that receives the intent, such as the action to be taken and the data to act on, plus some information of interest to the Android system, such as the category of the component that should handle the intent and the instructions on how to launch a target activity. So now explicit intents on the left-hand side designate the target component by its name. Now since component names would generally not be known to developers of other applications, explicit intents are typically used for application internal messages, such as an activity starting a subordinate service or launching a sister activity. And these are the examples. We can start a broadcast receiver, they start activities, they normally start background services as well. And all of these are part of your own application. It's not external applications that are receiving the intent. Implicit intents, on the other hand, do not name a target. Implicit intents are often used to activate components in other applications. Now, in the absence of a designated target, the Android system must find the best component or components to handle the intent. A single activity or service to perform the requested action or the set of broadcast receivers to respond to the broadcast announcement or whatever. It does so by comparing the contents of the intent object to intent filters, which are structures associated with the components that can potentially receive intents. Filters advertise the capabilities of a component and delimit the intents it can handle. They open the component to the possibility of receiving implicit intents of the advertised type. If a component does not have any intent filters, it can receive only explicit intents. A component with filters can receive both explicit and implicit intents. So for an example of an explicit intent, that would be, for instance, moving between different activities in the same application. An example for an implicit intent will be where we, let's say we wanted to dial a number on our phone but we don't want to, to, to build the capability of dialing a call on our own application. So we will send out a message to the system and say, is there an application out there that can help my application to actually dial a call? And then all of the applications that you have installed on your phone with the intent filter that says it, uh, it's able to, to dial a call for you will then pop up and say, I can help you. But we'll look in more detail at implicit intents later on. For now, we will start with explicit intents.